Hi everyone, welcome to Rise Up Assignment 8 about private prisons. Um, so our aim today is how did private, sorry, how did the privatization of prisons lead to an increase in mass incarceration? I know it's a lot of vocab, I'll go over it briefly. Um, but first I just want to give you a mini lesson um, about what private prisons are and how they work. And then you'll be able to watch the video and answer the questions for your assignment. So um, let's talk about private prisons. So before the 1980s, all prisons were public. Public prisons means um, th they're prisons that are owned and run by the government, right? So people pay taxes and those taxes pay for prisons. Okay, that's how prisons were run. Um, but in the 1980s, the first private prisons opened, okay? Um, and unlike public prisons, private prisons are prisons owned and run by big companies who work for a profit. Okay, so it's run by companies, not the government anymore. And they're trying to make a profit. They're trying to make money. Okay, um, and they work on a contract with the government. So I'll explain that in a minute. Um, but why did these private prisons open in the 80s? Well, remember, we talked about the war on drugs and how that led to so many people being arrested. Well, when so many people were arrest arrested during the war on drugs, prisons became really overpopulated. There were too many people to put in the prisons that we had. So corporations or big companies offered, um, they made deals with the government. They said, hey, government, we will build the prisons. Okay. Um, we'll build them for you if we can make a profit off of it, if we can make money off of it. Okay. So private prisons started after the war on drugs. Um, now, how do those private prisons make a profit? Well, the government makes, uh, the state or federal government makes a deal with private prison companies. Um, so those private prison companies, right, like for example, CCA, Corporate Cor Cor Corrections Corporation of America is a private prison company, okay? So CCA and the government will make a deal together, okay? CCA will build and run the prison, but in order, um, and, and the government, um, will pay CCA, that private prison, um, money for every prisoner they have in there, right? They'll give them money to help them run the prison. Um, but in order to stay open, private prisons have to meet what's called a quota, a minimum number of inmates in prison, okay? So they get uh, private prisons get paid by the government for every prisoner they have, and they have to have at least a certain number of prisoners, all right? Um, if they don't have that certain number of prisoners, they have to pay a fine to the government. So those things, the, the quota deal and the fact that the government pays private prisons for every prisoner they have, that has actually um, led to um, states arresting more people and putting more people in prison, right? So more people end up in prison because these private prison companies are making money off of having people in prison, okay? Um, so that's a little bit about a bit about private prisons and just to review sort of how prison labor works, because this may be relevant information too. Um, prison labor, right, um, is those are jobs that prisoners do while they're in prison to earn money. They might pick crops, they might sew underwear, they might build machines. Some jobs even include burying bodies. That's what some prisoners at Rikers Island have to do. Um, and their salaries can range, all right? It can be anywhere from nothing zero dollars to three dollars and 45 cents per day is the highest um prison wage in the u.s today okay now states are not required to pay prisoners to do their work okay it's not required some states just choose to do it and they can force them to work okay even if prisoners don't want to they can be forced to um and they can be punished if they don't work like things like sent to solitary confinement um things like having their sentences made longer etc cetera, etc cetera. Now, private companies, okay, um, also make deals with private prisons. And when I say private companies, I mean big companies that we all know of, like maybe Victoria's Secret, Whole Foods, Boeing Airplanes, Walmart, okay? They make deals with private prisons where they pay private prisons to use prison labor to make their products, okay? Um, for example, on the side, here's a picture of a prisoner um, who's sewing underwear for Victoria's Secret, right? And why did these companies do that? Um, because it's very cheap labor and they actually get money back in their taxes for using prison labor, okay? So that's a bit about private prisons. You're gonna use that to watch the video, okay, about private prisons and answer these four questions here. All right, I've given you sentence starters. Let me know if you have any questions and good luck.